Not really dealt with. Was that a handball? It's 2-1 Scarborough. Scarborough have taken the lead again. Scarborough in the traditional red and Brackley in fluorescent yellow. Like I said, ex Chesterville player. They do have um, a couple of long throws there. Sam Muggleton, who used to um, play for Scarborough, went to Chesterfield. He had a, a cannon on as the ball's gone up, and it's going to be Cracknell. He couldn't catch it. He's come off the crossbar. It's going to be a corner. It's going to be an in swinger now from this right hand side. It's long, and that was a really good chance. It's gone wide, but only by a foot or so. And had that been on target, I'm not sure Cracknell would have known too much about it. Uh, anyway, it's going to be a corner, it's going to be uh, swung in for Borough. And it's low, it's driven low as well, on the edge of the box. And now a chance maybe for a shot, in it comes! Oh! I tell you what, that shamed the woodwork, didn't it? That, that was close, I think we might need a new lick of paint on that, on that woodwork. Now, yeah, well, we were talking, didn't we, earlier about the importance of, uh, you know, set pieces and uh, you can get them right. And that was obviously something they worked on in the, in the, on the training ground. And it nearly paid off there as well. The chance now for Brackley in the penalty area just cracked to get past it's going to be cleared kind of off the line there really from Wellergy and a chance from nowhere really for the visitors we've got Coulson McGuckin and uh, Colville in a line with the back four about 30 yards out Maloney's aiming for that trying to get beyond them actually and he does so Coville will keep that in and it's a lovely ball inside. Can we get a shot away from Wellergy? He lays it back. And oh, it's a spectacular bit of defending there. You have to say, that should have been 1-0. And not for the first time, Brackley get a man in the way. And that was uh, Gareth Dean. And that's probably why he wears the captain's armband. Absolutely, Ant. I mean, that was, that was just terrific defending, wasn't it? Good positive start from Borough. Throwing taken quickly. Kieran Glynn on the edge of the penalty area. Cross comes in. It's a lovely ball too. It's uh, headed clear though. And now uh, Kulo will uh, bring it down for Scarborough to Kieran Burton. He's been forced backwards though. It's now back with Bailey Gooder. His first touch brings him back into the Brackley half. Now down to uh, Captain Coulson. Turns inside. Turns back outside again. And now to Kieran Glynn. Tries to find Coulson again. It's not come off again that pass. Oh, it's a lovely tackle though, and he's getting so good at that. Is Kieran Glynn just sticking a foot out and winning the ball back? And he's still battling for it. He's still battling for it. Lovely little turn there from Kieran Glynn. Exhibition stuff. And uh, the ball played forward. Boris still in possession. He was just teasing him there, wasn't he? Now a chance for Wellergy on this right hand side. Ernie Cross comes in and a chance. Oh, he should have been. Should have been at least on target there from Michael Coulson. He, he had more space than I think he realised. So it's going to be a corner to Burr. It's going to be an in-swinger as well from this uh, right-hand side. In it comes as well. Heads go up. Oh, it's just wide from Wellergy. Just wide. So close there. So close. Good chance for Scarborough. It's a poor kick, actually. Although, having said that... <laughs> to give him credit it's reached Colville and back to Wellergy who uh, lumps it forward edge of the penalty area will it fall to a Scarborough player it has now it's Colville poor pass really but so uh, we might get a second bite of the cherry and we've actually won a free kick and this ant is Lewis Maloney territory 
Coulson is there, but it's going to be Lewis Maloney, isn't it? It's about 25 yards out, just to the right of centre. And in it comes. It's beating the keeper. Oh! It's hit the bar. It almost looked like it had gone in. Unfortunately, it hasn't. Danger not clear, though, for Brackley. And that's the closest we've come to a goal. Uh, it, was, it was dead centre, really, and uh, it rattled the, uh, the goal post. Maybe you should have done the commentary. Maybe that would have eased it in. As uh, Kieran Glynn, who's on a yellow card, gets the ball forward, looking for Coulson. It's a good one here. Coulson heads it down, has a shot. It's not enough power on that. It's like it's um, trickled down his leg as he went, the, went for the shot. And uh, Scarborough getting the ball back though. So um, Brackley uh, are now forward. And the referee is saying he got the ball there in the penalty area. And um, Scarborough now having to defend themselves. A good little um, quick counter there by Scarborough. Uh, Brackley were at sixes and sevens. Uh, that transition from um, defence to attack. They just couldn't get the guys back to uh, help out and it really scuppered them as a uh, cross is coming in it's just off the um, post there from um, number 10 I think it was James Armson such a, a quick cross wasn't it from yeah. uh, Matwasa there I mean it you know just to, just to get that ball whipped in so quickly and uh, I mean yeah we're very lucky to escape there Glynn tries to win a header, a bit of head tennis going on again. Uh, Burton got up the highest there to win the ball. It's now over with Scarborough. It looks like that's for Wiles. He's going to have a shot. Oh, and he just skims over. Oh. He got the winner here not so long ago. Oh. I've seen some real near misses tonight, haven't we? And that was, uh, as soon as he got the ball, you just you wanted him to shoot. You wanted him to shoot. It, was, uh, it was a perfect distance to have a crack at. Uh, just a shame that these these are just they're so close but not quite in the back of the net. <laughs> and uh, we want to keep that ball out now, don't we? We don't want to be conceding this late in the game. In it comes towards the penalty spot. It's headed clear by Borough. It's uh, not over yet, the danger. It's uh, scooped in, but Crackner will claim that. And uh, are we going to go for it in these last 30 seconds? It's uh, rolled out quickly. Sam Smart very quickly onto that, though. Not a great throw, really, and uh, Borough just giving themselves a bit of a headache. And the referee does blow the final whistle. It has finished goalless here at the Flamingo Land Stadium. A point earned, and I mean, a good game of football against a very good team. And uh, the clean sheet, I think, is probably the big success story of the night. Yeah, well, you can't say I mean, uh, it, you know, an entertain. It's been a very entertaining nil-nil game. Um, but yeah, clean sheet, probably, you know, give the uh, defence a bit of a confidence. Obviously. Having Qualter in there as well, um, added adding that uh, defensive capability. But I think the whole team played well from back to fr uh, from the back to the fronts, and um, hopefully um, come Saturday, Kidderman's there. I think they've uh, had a, they've had a three-one win this evening. Yep. Yeah, so this result leaves Scarborough in fifth place. 